It is 4.11 here on KHTS, so I've linked, and it's already October 7th, which means two things. Spooky season is officially upon us, but more importantly, we are a week into Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's a special time of the year, so we have a special guest joining us on the line. She is Marley Loffer, the president of the Henry Mayo Newhall Hospital Foundation and the hospital's VP of Marketing and Communications. Welcome, Marley, to the Afternoon Drive. Well, thank you very much for having me. Of course. It is a busy month. Can you believe we're already October 7th already? You know, I don't think any of us know where this last 18 months went. I know. It's kind of flown by. It is crazy, isn't it? So last uh, October, we had to kind of shift things up. Obviously, no vaccines yet. We are still in lockdown nation. Uh, How does this year's Breast Cancer Awareness Month at the hospital, uh, how does it look different than last year's? Are we still doing a lot of virtual events? Well, we're doing a variety of things, and it actually doesn't look all that different because um, one of the things that we do during Breast Cancer Awareness Month, in addition to education and raising awareness and encouraging our community to get mammograms, is we work with local business partners uh, who do fun things to dedicate a portion of their funds to the Sheila Arvilos Breast Center. So last year, um, everybody was you know, doing takeout and uh, picking up food at various locations. And we have many of those partners back with us again this year. You, of course, now have the option of going and dining in or on a patio, if you wish, Mm -hmm. or pick out, pick up uh, food. But we're really, especially at a time when small businesses have been challenged, we are just so proud that we have partners like uh, Salt Creek Grill and Wolf Creek and Stone Fire um, we've got uh, the local, we've got egg plantation, uh, wine 661, the press room. Um, the list goes on and on. And so we encourage everyone to go to our Henry Mayo Giving website uh, and look at our Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And there's opportunities where you can you know, get a churro and have it support uh, going towards breast cancer awareness, or you can shop in some of our retailers and pick up some fun items. Uh, Just a a really, really good activity. And then, of course, we're raising money directly uh, for the Sheila Arvilos as well. Um, We've had many generous people make donations because they know that the money raised helps to make sure we have state-of-the-art equipment in our breast center Mm -hmm. and also assist women if they are having difficulty with their co-pays or um, ability to do a a mammogram or a diagnostic screening. So it's a great month to both raise awareness and raise some money. Definitely. And and Marley, I'm looking at the list right now. Wherever you are in the Valley, there is a, a, a local eatery or some kind of restaurant or some kind of shop by you where you can go and and eat in or eat out and they're donating part of the revenue, part of the proceeds directly to the breast center, which you mentioned. Uh, yeah, we are so proud of all of our partners. I mean, you can get a, a blowout at the blowout lounge. You can get a car <laughs> wash in various locations. Uh, nothing bunk cakes. Yo, east side, it's, west side, Valencia to Canyon it. Country here in New Hall, <laughs> Old Town, New Hall. There is a place where you can go and support the Sheila R. Veloz Breast Center at uh, Henry Mail, which I believe... Uh, Marley is the crown jewel of of Henry Mayo Newhall Hospital. With all of the buildings, all of the the new additions, I still think it is. And I want to talk about that center because I I still you know 18 years in and I I don't know if if every single Santa Claritian knows uh, what this is. Uh, talk to me about the center. When did it open? How was it designed? And, and some of the new technology that is offered there. Sure. And we are very, very proud of our Sheila Arvilos Breast Center. Um, It is something we are very well known for. We have lots of crown jewels on campus, but this is definitely one of them. Uh, And it really is the result of the the philanthropic generosity of Tom Vilos in honor of his wife, Sheila, when she passed away from breast cancer um, about 19, 20 years ago. And he and his family and friends of Sheila's came forward to donate money for the Sheila Arvilos Breast Center at Henry Mayo. And we continue to have very generous donors um, throughout these last 18 years. And then, of course, events uh, like we do this month to, to raise money. 
It's, it's an excellent breast center. It's recognized uh, as a breast imaging center of excellence by the American College of Radiology. Um, we have state-of-the-art equipment. We have fabulous physicians that are um, affiliated with our Sheila Arvilos Breast Center. And then I think really one of the things that sets, sets it apart is the very warm and caring experience that you get when you go in there. And our great um, uh, radiologists and, um, and techs that perform the mammograms, mm. they are just, most of them live here. They know they're treating neighbors and friends and their children's teacher or their, you know, someone they run into in the grocery store. And so they, they put a little extra kindness and compassion into it. So in addition to state-of-the-art equipment, uh, we have state-of-the-art people at Sheila Arvilos. Yeah, I mean, over 300,000 Americans diagnosed with some form of breast cancer every single year. Early detection is, you know, always the best way to attack your cancer head on. And uh, now at the Sheila Arvilos Breast Center, 3D mammograms, which help detect uh, that cancer earlier and earlier. So if you want to schedule an appointment today, you can. Uh, the number is 661-200-1099. That is 661-200-1099. Go to henrymayo.com, of course, for uh, all of that information as well. Um, so also, uh, about early detection, about screening. Over the past year, we've seen sharp declines in breast, cervical, every kind of cancer screening. Are those numbers starting to turn around right now, or are we still seeing a, a decline, a dip? We have still seen a little bit of a decline, although it's coming back. You know, obviously, when uh, COVID first reared its ugly head uh, back in, in March of 2020. Um, kind of the messaging from everybody was stay home, don't go anywhere. Um, and what happened is a lot of people chose to delay their routine screenings. Um, we've been trying to get the message out for the last uh, several months that we are a very safe place to be, that you're safe in our care. Um, and definitely at Sheila Arvilos, they practice that on a regular basis. So while we did see a dip in um, people feeling comfortable to go get their routine screenings, we are seeing it come back. But we still encourage everybody, if you have not scheduled your mammogram and you're due or near due, uh, call us up and schedule it. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things we do during Breast Cancer Awareness Month is we ask a breast cancer survivor uh, who is treated through Sheila Arvilos in our hospital to share their experience with the community and our, um, what well, we, we call them our testimonial speakers or our ambassadors. And our ambassador this year is a wonderful woman named Michelle Geisbauer, and she truly speaks of early detection, of, of finding something so minute, but really taking the, the time and energy, working with the Sheila Arvilo staff to detect it, to, to go through it, to analyze it, to to, to discover what it might be and to take the appropriate uh, course of action. And um, her story is very inspiring. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the website right now. Young woman, uh, her and her husband didn't know, and then they came into the uh, center, got a 3D mammogram, and were able to find out early enough to, to fight it head on. She is Marley Lawfer, the president of the Henry Mayo Newhall Hospital Foundation. She's also the VP of the hospital's marketing and communications staff. And, you know, she's here on behalf of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Of course, it is October 7th. We are already one week into Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, over 300,000 Americans diagnosed with some form of breast cancer each and every single year. It's not just a female thing, but about one in eight U.S. women, 12%, will develop invasive breast cancer over some course of their lifetime. 40,000 Americans will die this year of breast cancer. And for many who receive the diagnosis, it's, it's uh, Marley, it's an overwhelming amount of new information, and not knowing is scary. So you and the team there are uh, certainly here to provide uh, and help out with information, support, and more. So reach out to them at henrymayo.com. You can, of course, give them a call at 661-200-1099. And as Marley mentioned earlier, there is a, a whole slew of restaurants around the valley. No matter where you are in Santa Clarita, there is a restaurant by you that will be donating a portion of its rev revenue to support the Sheila Arvelos Breast Center. You can find that list along with a full calendar of Breast Cancer Awareness Month events 
at henrymayo.com. Marley, anything else you would like to, to share with us today? Oh, Aaron, I think you've done a great job of summarizing it all. Um, we really encourage the community to support us. as our at, We're the independent, not-for-profit community hospital, and we have the ability to do really great things in partnership with our community. So we appreciate the support of residents of the Santa Cruz Valley. We encourage you to get your routine screenings. Uh, this month we're focusing on breast cancer, but, of course, Lots of, of screenings that might need to occur from colonoscopies, prostate, uh, you name it. Be vigilant about your health. Uh, and keep in mind that uh, we have an emergency room 24-7. And as I said before, you are safe in our care. Certainly. A uh, full calendar of breast cancer awareness events. You can also find that list at henrymayogiving.com. That is an easier website to remember, henrymayogiving.com. Marley Laffer, Henry Mayo uh, Newhall Foundation, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. We, we greatly appreciate the support of our community uh, radio station. Anytime. Thank Don't you. be a stranger.